Welcome back to this guy's garage. Today we're gonna to do an unboxing on the cheapest paint gun I could find. But it was a very specific paint gun and I bought it for a reason. This paint gun isn't a HVLT, it's a high efficiency paint gun. Now, the reason why I would recommend a high efficiency over a HVLP is because most home gamers or most people that are working at home or a DIY guy isn't gonna be set up for a HVLP gun, which what HVLP stands for is high volume, low pressure. And the standard air hose that most guys that are outfitted for at home are for high pressure, high volume. So this is uh, came from Amazon. It's uh, sold by the Canadian Tool Supply Company. I have a feeling it's about as, about as Canadian as apple pie. So we have a cup, not my favorite kind of cup, but for 34 bucks to the door, tax included, I really can't complain about the cup. And we have our gun. So the part number is H827W, and it's branded with Canadian tool supply on it. Trigger field's half decent, and it's got a 1.4 tip. First thing you want to do is take it apart. Pull that out. Now, the reason why I say take it take it apart right away is these guns are cheap, and they're not made with the best of materials. And there's going to be a lot of grease in parts like this. This is, this has oil on it to keep it from rusting. If you don't take this part and clean it up right away with some solvent, you're going to have problems when you're painting. Believe me, I found it the hard way. And it comes with a, a fluid strainer, which is full of oil, so that's useless. Machining in the air cap looks pretty decent. It's a 1.4 cap. And the machine looks half decent. So we're going to just do an unboxing here today, give you my first impression. But we're going to test this out in a side-by-side -side comparison. We'll mix the paint in the same cup. I'll divvy up half for this gun and half for my uh, my DeVilvis that I use. And uh, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison on two brand new fenders. That'll be coming up next week. New uh, paint strainer in the box. Comes with a toothbrush. All right, so let's give this a clean out and uh, These cheap guns, uh, well, the tool to take it apart is even cheaper. And I don't want to put voice grips in here right away, so I'm just going to soak the head of the gun, because that's garbage. Soak the head of the gun. Give everything a clean. Wash this out, and we'll, uh, so when we're done cleaning this up, we'll give it a little spray, see what the pattern's like. Now you should put a drop of oil in this when you put it back together so your packing seals don't uh, get dried up but uh i'm sure the packing seals in this are plastic so this isn't this isn't going to be a long life gun you'll get a few uses out of it 
And it will probably treat you better than a... You could use the most expensive HVLP gun. If you're not geared up for it, you're going to struggle with it. You're much better off using something like this to get your feet wet. All right, when you're setting up your gun, you want to pull at it, turn that in till you feel it hit your trigger, and just about another quarter turn, and that should be get you pretty close to your gun setup. Now, uh, this is great for painting parts. I wouldn't paint a, recommend painting a hood with it because you, you have, there isn't enough paint in here to, to paint a hood of a car, for one, and these tend to leak. The seal isn't best on these, so. There we go. next test will tell us everything we need to know about this gun. And what I'm looking for, I'll show you. And this is a good sign. What I'm looking for is you don't want to see any swirls in your fluid coming out. You want a straight stream of fluid. So that's a good sign. Fan adjustments a little sticky. Now you don't want your, when you're adjusting your fan, the, the nice thing about these is, the, this one's not great, but I, I really, really have no, so you're gonna turn it out all the way. That's gonna give you a wider fan. You're probably gonna go back about two turns and that'll get you pretty close to your setup. So the one thing it doesn't come with is a gauge. And there is quite a few cheaper guns out there that you can get with a gauge. Do what I say. Okay. Again, I I'd be leery of going over the hood of the car with this because uh, these this style of cup sucks. But great for doing tuck up work on the side of your car. It has a use. And this gun, you'll be spraying at thirty to 50, 30 to fifty psi, depending on the material you're putting in it. And I gotta say, that gun has a nice pattern on it. All in all, this gun is worth 35 bucks. And uh, we're gonna test it out next week. So stay tuned till next week because we're gonna test it out against Old Faithful Trigger here, my DeVilvis. And see what it'll actually do compared to a half decent gun. This this DeVilvis is the DeVilvis finish line. It's middle of the road, but 
It does, it's been working great for me. I've had this gun for a few years. I was actually able to steal this on eBay for a hundred bucks, so that's a damn good gun. So that's gonna do it for this episode of This Guy's Rag. You can hit that subscribe button. It's right there. You can watch another video right around here somewhere. And until the next time, 